Yeah, I recently got a set of fee fine wireless mics off of Amazon that were way inexpensive mics. And so we're just gonna kind of play with them today and see how far they actually work. And I've actually got an assistant today. This is Mr. Rick, that you're gonna start seeing a little bit more of him each <laughs> video. <laughs> I gotta stay with him, you know. <laughs> it just is a thing. He's actually a pretty cool character. But here's the setup that's on the camera. And we saved you a bunch of playing around time, getting everything set up because it's kind of bright. So I had to come back out, put an ND filter on and all that fun stuff. It's a little big and bulky. I'll link the description in the description to where I got the mount for the camera. But it generally works. And I'm going to swap over to the wireless mic. I actually have two. I got an actual microphone and then I got a wireless lav mic set up with it that I'm going to swap out and do both of those for today. This is 10 foot. Twenty-five foot. Fifty foot. I can't see the tape hardly. <laughs> Seventy five foot. Ninety foot. One hundred foot. Yeah, this take the tape is uh, kind of small from up here with the sun glaring on it like that. I couldn't hardly see it. I'm actually kind of wondering what the wind noise is going to wind up being on this thing. So not much. It ain't blowing hard enough. Ah, you'd be surprised how bad these microphones will pick up wind noise. Sound like a news reporter. That uh, when we get inside, I want you to listen to how how well this thing actually picks up. It's going to be surprising. All right, let me shut. This is there off. anything else? All right, this is out at ten feet. Here's 25 feet. All right, now we're all the way out to 50 feet. And this is out at 75 feet. a lot of this pretty well and I really I'm talking all the way back in to see if it did drop out that I, that I can kind of get an idea on where it dropped out at and what it sounds like when it's coming back into range hopefully it actually stuck out all the way back to the 100 foot mark but I'm actually gonna pull this out of the camera go in play it real quick and see if it did okay we're actually we're actually back and I'm not exactly sure how close this mic needs to be and that's part of what we're trying to do is we're still using these wireless mics. We realize this one actually goes out to 100 plus feet without any problem. And so now I kind of want to see what it's going to be for interview. Do you, does it need to be right tight to your mouth? Can you have it out to here in you know, normal voices? And this is a buddy of mine, Rick. Hi. The... You're actually going to start seeing a lot more Rick on these videos anyhow, so I think this would be kind of a cool way to introduce it. <laughs> so, you actually talked about wanting to try and learn how to do some of these videos and bikes anyhow? Yes. Yes, I would like to share my knowledge of uh, 
motorcycles and the best I could with people. Yeah, you're going to really give this a test of how good it picks up, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Why well, am not talking loud enough? That he's asked about, uh, he enjoys a lot working on these bikes and stuff like that. So you may start seeing bike some. Cars, I'm a bike and car guy. So you may start seeing some more of these videos come up uh, on like Tuesdays or Thursdays. It would be kind of car bike videos, uh, doing a little maintenance stuff, stuff like that, and working out on them. And we're going to do a lav test, and I may have him that he needed to do some work on a bike. That's why he's over here today anyhow. So I may wire him up with a lav and see how that picks up for background noise too. So, but this is just a test to see what it does for picking up people. Say bye, Rick. Goodbye, everybody. Right now, I am. Right now, I am rubbing in leather conditioner on these saddlebags, trying to get some of the cracking out of them since we live in sunny Arizona that is so dry that the conditioner soaks under this leather quicker than I can get it worked in. Nice. So how easy does that actually work for you? Good. You just got to keep doing it over and over till it actually soaks it in, you know, because of the dryness and it's like a sponge. This leather's working like a sponge. And so that's what we're fighting right now. All right, and that's part of what I want to do is see how well that lav mic picks up somebody talking. Right. Not as part of what you're doing. Oh, well, thanks. Well, I'll see how well it can be used for like an interview mic. Yeah. I know. Well, hopefully that will tell us what we need to know. So. Good. You can say bye. Okay. Bye, everyone. This is the fee fine setup that I got. The interview mic, the lav, and these are actually accessories that I got. This is to adapt from the quarter inch plug down to the uh, uh, camera jack. And this is actually a cell phone holder that opens wide enough to pick this up. I'll link it all up in the description. Now, Rick and I have actually sat down and watched this and came through it. Uh, I was actually pretty impressed with this. And for a $30 setup, that these one was 35 and the other one was 30 and uh, for an inexpensive wireless setup i was pretty impressed it's great works great to me works real good i'm impressed too works real good yeah he was kind of surprised on how well it actually the especially that laugh mic picked up oh yeah and for a guy this that's one normally 100 foot plus for a guy that's normally so outspoken, I was kind of surprised and a little disappointed. With that, we did notice that even when he was being a little bit deer in the headlights and a little bit soft-spoken, as long as you pointed it at you, that it picked up that well, even. Yes. And when I managed to get you to speak up norm like you normally do, it picked up perfectly fine. 100 foot, I mean, huh? Plus? Oh, that was easily 100 foot out. And I I can't ever picture. We plan on going to the Philippines, doing Subic in that area. That's gonna be fun. And February. this spring, February and so I can maybe then picture us getting a hundred foot apart, and still want to be. But to be bluntly honest, hundred foot. I don't see it being filmed from a hundred foot away though. No. Maybe some. So, yeah, it, it'll be interesting. But, yeah, I if you do get that far from the camera, I don't see it happening that terribly often. Now, this one, I was a little bit disappointed, but it still dropped out at about 75, 80 feet. About 85 feet, yeah. And so that's actually not too bad. you were coming back this way, you were talking, and you, you didn't take about three steps, and I heard you. Now, hear the one thing so. I did notice on that is I had the, the, the belt unit on the front of myself, and when I would turn around and face the camera, 
it would kick back in. Mm-hmm. And so I'm thinking it may have been just enough mm-hmm. interference from being... So it's one that you probably wouldn't want to wear on the opposite side of where the camera is if you're mm-hmm. more than 50 feet away. Yeah. And that's just going to be like something said, that could be played with. you didn't take 15 feet, I don't think, in three steps, three or four steps. Yeah. It, so that's why I said about 85 foot is when I noticed it came back on. And, and again, we're talking about, mm-hmm. you know, a, a $30 unit that picks up, you know, 75, 80 feet away. Mm-hmm. I, I'm... For that, I am hugely impressed that, that I couldn't expect any more. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not talking about a four hundred dollar unit that, that's mm-hmm. you know. So, I, I'm definitely impressed with this. That it, that it's something I could definitely recommend. Yeah. So, it's good in my world. <laughs>